I'm back. How are you? How are all my beautiful people? Welcome to the dinner party. Hi. We got some more beautiful people that decided to join us for our dinner party. Thank you so much for like, commenting, subscribe, and sharing. We love the comments. I love the comments, guys. So how have you been? It's early. It's 10 after 10. I was going to try to wait till like noon, but I'm hungry, and I want some tacos. Then that's what we have, and we have having tacos. These are homemade tacos. The corn shell, I, fry them, I try to fry them really hard. So I have cilantro and lettuce in them, and the meat is ground turkey. I have my hot sauce right here, the red hot. I know y'all like, she says she don't eat hot stuff, but the trick is I don't keep it in the refrigerator. So, it's, it got a good flavor, but it's not hot. If I left it in the refrigerator, it would be like hot where I couldn't eat it. I'm going to start eating, and then I'm going to tell y'all some things that's going on. So, how have you been? Y'all probably eating, it's 10 o'clock. So, y'all probably eating, what, breakfast now? Yeah, breakfast. Yeah, I think y'all still eating breakfast. Give me, let me eat one taco here. Get you, grab you something to eat. Get you a plate. Get you a Danish and some coffee, a donut. I'm drinking the last of the Kool-Aid. Sorry, guys. Brandon went back to school today. So did my editor, my chocolate child, my niece, and my nephew. They all started back today after spring break. To me, homemade tacos are the best. My meat, I put a little seasoning salt. Um, I like cumin, cumin, cumin. And I like um, garlic, minced garlic, garlic powder, and onion powder. That's the only thing I do to season my meat. Every once in a while, I'll make beef tacos, but every time I, it, I do, it seems like I over season the meat and the meat be too salty. I do better with the, I even do um, ground chicken. I like ground chicken too. This one might break on me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, it broke. Normally, I have pico de gallo, but I have some corn chips. I ate all that pico de gallo. <clears throat> I ate all of it, so I don't have any. Mm. 
Did y'all get y'all plate? Y'all eating? Good. What y'all eating? Is it good? Or is it breakfast food? Or is it like me, something that you don't eat for breakfast? So, what I wanted to share with you guys is, it's April 1st. It's Autism Awareness Month. It's April Fools. If you do that, I think I'm going to get my mama later on. But, here's what I wanted to share. If we get to 100 subscribers... By May 1st, even if I hit 100 subscribers on May 1st, May 4th, which is that Saturday, I'll go live for the first time. The reason I didn't say nothing yesterday is because it's going to be a surprise. Brandon is not going to know until like I pop up live, until we pop up live. So we'll do, because he's been wanting to go live. Remember he mentioned it in a previous video that he wanted to do a live mukbang. So, I came up with the idea that if we can hit 100 beautiful people by May 1st, wherever I am, whatever restaurant I, I decide to go to on May 4th, we're going to go live. I know we can do it. I know we can. I'm gaining more beautiful people every day, and I appreciate you guys. And I want to see Brandon's reaction when I'm like, we're live. I want to see his reaction, y'all. It's going to be fun. Like, my baby going to be, oh, my God. You know how kids get. So, um, I planned out this whole month because I, I want to hit the 100 beautiful people. Because I want to go live for him. I want to go live for myself because I'm kind of afraid to do it. So, if I put it out there, I know I got to do it because y'all will hold me to it. And... Y'all see Brandon, like, be branded and be happy. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I, I oh, and it was so hard for me not to say nothing yesterday. It was so hard. I had wrote a couple of notes down right here in my notepad. It was hard. I'm telling y'all, it was hard for me not to pull this notepad out. Because I don't want him to know at all it's going to be a surprise. He going to be so surprised. And I know we, we as a family as the dinner party we can do it i'm gonna be pushing myself to get videos out on a consistent basis i think i'm pretty consistent but i'm gonna just step it up a notch so you know we can get a hundred beautiful people i know y'all out there i know it's a hundred of y'all out there i think we had like 61 62 60 uh something like that but i just i need like you know, cup. You know, I don't know. I can't do the math in my brain right now. But y'all know how many more I need, and I just need y'all. And if even if we go over, that's that'd be great. Even if we hit a hundred on May first, I'm still gonna go live. <laughs> Got think of stuff, you know. Mm. And this whole month, I'm welcome with suggestions on what y'all want to see me eat. My town is kind of small, so hopefully I can find the suggestions. Um, I do a lot of Walmart shopping, so if y'all see some in the Walmart y'all want me to eat, let me know. Um, we got two Walmarts here. We got a Super Walmart, and then we got like a regular Walmart, so I can hit both of them up. Drop them comments down below. Let me know what y'all want to see me eat. I don't do hot. I don't do pig feet. I don't do chitlins. I don't do pig necks. I don't do pig toes. 
Không đun nến đấy Không đun nến đấy And even if it's somewhere y'all want me to go on location, y'all, we have a Buffalo Wild Wings here. We have a Logan's here. We have, um, what else? We got like a Long John Silver's and stuff like that. Drop them in the comments below and let me know. Sorry. How many of y'all still got a house phone? Me. Ain't a house phone been ringing. Mm -hmm. I heard that house phone. It's funny when teenagers see a house phone, they don't know what to do with it. They'll like pick it up and start dialing, not knowing that you have to push talk. <laughs> and then dial. They'll just start dialing. And then they'll tell me, your phone don't work. No, you don't know how to use it. But I said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. <laughs> Y'all, I forgot to do a thumbnail. Me and these thumbnails, Lord have mercy. I don't got three tacos left. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm gonna try to do one. I'm gonna find a taco with some stuff. Okay. Oh, wait, nope. Maybe. Can you? And this time, last video, the video I did yesterday, I really tried with the thumbnail. I really did. And uh, uh, it was an epic fail, but y'all still came into the dinner party and joined me. Thank you. And when you share my videos or talk about my videos, I pre-warn them that the that first couple of videos I had the devil phone. And then I'm trying to learn the thumbnail. So they don't be looking like, what in the world? I'm trying. And like I mentioned before, it's Autism Awareness Month. Yep. So, do you guys know anybody that um, has autism? If you do, tell me what makes them unique. Maybe they are good at math. Maybe they're good at reading. Maybe they're good at drawing. Maybe they're good at um, telling you all the different type of dinosaurs. Maybe they're good at describing every Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're good at that. And the national color is blue. I know this is teal, but this is like the closest I had to blue. And their symbol is a puzzle piece. Because everybody with autism fits into the puzzle some type of way. But every piece is unique. So tell me. What makes that person, like, extraordinary? Like, when they tell you about whatever they're telling you about, they know so much detail that you got to listen because you like, R I did not know that. Hmm. I did not know that about the Pokemon. I got a Q&A coming up. Because I know I just popped up on y'all timelines. I know y'all was like, who is this woman with this food and this little boy? I got a Q&A coming up. Um, I'm going to try to buy some sweet treats, like little cakes and stuff. I got that coming up. I got so much stuff, that's why I have to write it down. And I'm going to try to figure out a better schedule when to upload my videos and stuff. You would think I would be better at that. Because I'm a hairdresser and I work for myself, so I do my schedule. But sometimes I even mess that up. 
but I'm working on that now. Mm. And if you knew, if you're a new beautiful person, tell me in the comments what makes you beautiful. It could be you have a great sense of humor. It could be you're a great parent. It could be you're a great gardener. It could be you're, the, you're a great friend. Let me know. Oh, and if you have some more comments, I mean questions that you want to ask besides the questions I thought of, leave them in the comments too. And if you're new, I have another video where I'm eating a, a taco. Now, that taco was as big as my face. Go check that out. It was meat falling from my mat. Chase, I had went to an authentic restaurant. You hear the, 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 you know, the little music in the background and stuff. It, 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 was, it, was, it was neat. But that's when I had the devil phone. You'll read the comments about the devil phone. I'll tell you about the devil phone in that video. I ain't got the devil phone now, but I had it then. That's gonna be quick. I'm down in two tacos. See, I ain't wanna be greedy in front of y'all. Cause real talk, I can eat like <laughs> 12 tacos. <laughs> I ain't want y'all to be like, good God, that girl can eat. But that's what a mukbanger is a person that can eat. I can eat. If y'all want me to do that Taco Bell challenge, where you, I think you eat, it's an old challenge, but if you want to see me eat 10 times, is it 10 times or 12 times? I'm going to say 10, because I ain't never ate 12. If you want to see me eat um, 10 Taco Bell tacos, leave it in the comments. I can do it. I do it on a regular basis sometimes. <laughs> Me and Brandon tore that Kool-Aid up yesterday. Hmm. And I had a craving for this. Y'all ever have a craving for something then when you get it? It's so good you can't talk about it. That's how I feel about this. It's so good. I had a craving for it. And to me, it's so good I can't talk about it. It got to be a secret. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm sorry. If I'm falling out of my mouth, I'm sorry, y'all. That one, right? I'm looking at my light. The sun is shining, but I seem kind of dark. I'm sorry. I think I have to adjust that. Okay, so I'm like, you talk too much. Eat. I'm trying to eat. 
I'm down to one taco. I had six. I'm going to finish all my food. Well, I've been finishing all my food. What I've been doing is just trying, like, not to eat and snack during the day. So I can finish all my food with you guys. So we can finish our food together. I'm sure that it's tough. It ain't tough. Oh, I said it. Never mind. Well, I said it again. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I got to remember to say it if we're going to get the 100 beautiful people. Hmm. Boy. I want to go to California and get some tacos from California at the taco truck. I'll be watching um, Delicious Eats and um, Diner Drives and Dives, all those. I want to go to California so I can eat. The tacos look so good. Especially, I'm going to really mess this word up. And please forgive me if anybody is of Hispanic origin. Please forgive me. But them tacos, them Conorana Sanas, <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about. I got the shredded beef and the cilantro and the, and the lime. I want one of them so bad. Ain't nowhere around here that sell them. I want one of them so bad. I want one of them right now. Uh, I can't get that. Okay, wait a minute. I'm going to want to go to Maine for the seafood. I want to go to Texas for a steak. I'm going to go everywhere and eat. Everywhere. And just eat. I got some there. Like my grandma would say I got swallow. Hmm? Thank y'all for joining me at the dinner party. All my beautiful people, I will see you next time. Bye.